John chapter 3, verses 5. And Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. See, Jesus was talking to Nicodemus at this time, a ruler of the Jews. He was a high ruler in the synagogue. He said, Unless a man be born again, you've got to be born again of the water. Jesus named baptism and of the Spirit and filling of the Holy Ghost. Without it, you cannot even enter the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verses 3, the same Jesus answered and said unto him, he said again to Nicodemus, Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless you're born, unless you're one of born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you're born again, you cannot even see the kingdom of God. You know, that the Holy Ghost is your ticket to the kingdom of God. You know, without it, you're not going to even get in the kingdom of God. Romans chapter 8, verses 9. However, you're not in the flesh. But in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, if the Holy Ghost lives in you, but if anyone does not have the Spirit of God, if you do not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. You do not belong to God. You're not of God. Acts chapter 2, starting at verses 1. On the day of Pentecost, as fully come, they were all in one place and one accord. They was all in one mind. They were all in unity. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Remember the wind that he was talking about? He said, well, the wind blow it. No one listens. Well, guess what? This is the wind that he was talking about. And he said, as a rushing mighty wind, it filled the whole house. Everyone got the Holy Ghost where they were all sitting. There appeared to them divided tongues of fire and sat upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. And Peter said to them, Repent, get baptized in Jesus' name. The water baptism. Get baptized in Jesus' name. You know, for the remission of your sins, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive the Spirit for the remission of your sins. Acts chapter 8, verse 16. For he had not yet fallen upon any of them, they had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Again, Jesus named baptism. Uh, Acts chapter 19, verses 5. When they heard this, when they heard the preach, the preach word of God, the house of Cornelius, they were all baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every single one of them, they were baptized in the name of Jesus for the washing and for the remission of their sins.